The bags you see before me are the biggest yarn haul I have ever done. This is the most amount of money I have ever spent on yarn on one trip. And this is also the most number of skeins I have ever bought in one trip to the store. I'm kind of freaking out. I got this yesterday. I haven't really gone through this, but today we're gonna talk yarn. All right, so a little backstory before I show you the goodies before me. Basically last year Hobby Lobby had a bunch of clearance yarn. I was feeling really badly the week it was on clearance. And so literally every member of my family went yarn shopping for me because they're just that awesome. My sister's FaceTime me and went shopping. My mom went to a store. My other sister went to a store. My dad even went to a store. I started doing some research and I figured out that apparently the first week or so in June every year Hobby Lobby clearances a bunch of their yarn and when they clearance their yarn it goes 75% off that's just a great deal you can't beat that right so I have been waiting an entire year for them to clearance their yarn again and this week I realized it's clearance week so yesterday which was June 9th I don't know when I'm actually posting this video but yesterday I went to Hobby Lobby I had a very short window of time I was there for sure less than 30 minutes probably like 20 to 25 minutes. So I did a very frantic, go up and down the aisle, spot clearance, go, do I want it, what is this? No, do I want it? Yes, throw it in the cart. And I ended up with a bunch of stuff. Normally when I shop, I double check everything and I calculate the price as I'm going. But this time I pretty much threw stuff in the cart, dashed to the register, didn't even know what all I had until I checked out. And I haven't even reopened the bags to revisit what I actually ended up with because I was on a bit of a time crunch. But let me just start off by saying, I got 32 skeins of yarn and the damage was $46.95. Okay, I'm, I'm like in agony that I spent nearly 50 bucks on yarn. Granted, it was all on gift cards, because like I said, I've been waiting for this for a year. So I held on to gift cards to make sure I had plenty. So that's more than I have ever spent on yarn on one single trip. But I am still really happy because I got a phenomenal deal. Once you divide it out, that's less than, I think it was less than $1.47 per skein of yarn. The way inflation's going, you can't get yarn for $1.47 anywhere. So I'm super excited with this. All right, let me get the baby yarn out of the way first. So first up, we have Lion Brand Ice Cream Baby Yarn. This stuff is so cute, I've wanted to try it for a while. It's normally $5.99, I got each of these skeins for $1.49. They only had three in this color, and I honestly didn't even check the dye lot because like I said, I was super frantic, but they're all the same dye lot, I lucked out, very awesome. These of course, I will use for a baby blanket. So that's my first three skeins. Then I have four skeins of Baby Bee Sweet Delight, and I've actually used this exact color before. It's super cute. Now these ones, I had to get different dye lots because of what they had available. This one looks a lot different now that I'm seeing it out of the bag. I don't know if that's gonna impact me. See how this top one looks a lot different? That might come back to haunt me, I don't know, but you know what, we're gonna roll with it. So this again is for a baby blanket. Oh, and these are normally $5.49, but they were only a buck 37. But moving on to the next ones, I got some more Baby B. This is Sweet Delight Prince. So these are both Baby B Sweet Delight. The pump, I think, means this one has the extra little, like, it's not quite sparkly, but the little extra thread running through it. Whereas this is a Prince, which means it just is printed a variegated kind of textured color. So I got four of these, and these Baby B Sweet Delights are acrylic and polyamide. They feel nice and soft, and you get 377 yards. So I went ahead and grabbed four of these. I'll probably end up with some extra, or else I'll just make a larger baby blanket. Okay, I just had a realization. This one is not the same yarn. This one is a Sweet Delight pump, and this one is just a Sweet Delight. So like I said, that pump means it has the little extra thread running through it. This one does not have it running through it, and I didn't realize it until just now. So maybe I'll turn this one into some baby beanies and just use these three for a smaller baby blanket. I'll have to see. Like I said, I literally threw stuff in the cart and then dashed up to the register and checked out and didn't even quite double check what all I had because I was in a rush. But I guess that's part of the fun of buying super discounted yarn. So anyways, these are my first 11 skeins of yarn here before me. These are all baby yarn. And the reason I went with these is because first of all, all of these baby blankets, I'll be able to make them for less than six bucks. Really phenomenal price. And I like making baby blankets because I donate them, but it also gives me something I can work on off camera. I like to crochet pretty much every evening before I wind down for bed. I'll put on some TV and I'll crochet something. And lately I've been running into where the projects I want to work on or I have available to work on are things I need to film. So I can't
can't film them when I'm just watching TV. I have to wait on those. So this is something that I can work on off camera to keep me busy in the evenings because I like to always have something I'm crocheting. So these are baby blankets and I'll be donating these. So it's always good to get it on sale because that means I'm able to donate even more blankets. So next, let me move on to this bag because I think I know what's in here. All right, so first up, I have some I Love This yarn. Normally $4.99, I got it for $1.24. This was just a total, well, okay, honestly, it was all impulse purchases, intentional impulse purchases, but you know, a lot of these I was just buying because I'm like, ooh, cool yarn. But this one is so pretty. I love the coloration on this one. I've never noticed this before on the shelves, but this is such a great fall tone colors. I don't know what I'm gonna make with this. I honestly might make a scarf, I might make a hat. I'm kind of leaning towards a scarf, but I'll have to wait till the yarn tells me what it wants to be. And this has 196 yards. Now this is smaller than the big I Love This yarns that are the solid colors. Those I think have closer to 300 yards, whereas this only has 196, but still it's a good bit of yarn for only $1.24. And this yarn's pretty consistent to work with, so I'm excited to have this in my stash. Then I got a bunch of cotton. Now, I feel like you can never have too much cotton yarn. If you can get a good deal on cotton, you should grab it because cotton is just a sturdy yarn. It's great for wearables. It's great for bags. You can make beach hats out of it. So here's what I got as far as cotton yarn goes. I got these five different sugar wheel cottons. So this is a print one, this is a solid one. I actually have some of this yarn already and it's super cute. But basically, I think these are all about the same. Yeah, they're all 335 yards of 100% cotton yarn. I only paid $1.50 for each of these, not too bad. Now lately I've been trying to buy yarn with the intentions of what I'm already going to be making with them. This I kind of cheated a little bit and I didn't have an idea for every yarn I bought, but I do have an idea for these. I think I'm gonna make some kind of like summer or bucket hat, flowery hat. Uh, I am going to the beach later on this summer, so I'm a redhead, I sunburn way too easily. So I need all the extra sun protection I can get. So I think I'm gonna use these colors to make a little hat. And then of course I'll have a bunch left over. Who knows what I'm gonna make with the extra, but like I said, I love having cotton yarn on hand because it's great for so many projects. Oh, you guys can't even quite see my little pile I'm making over here. I'm like a dragon hoarding yarn. Okay, moving on, let's go to the smaller bag. So I have a little bit more cotton in here. This is Cotton DK Sage, and I think the DK has to do with what weight it is. It's honestly like I'm seeing all this yarn for the first time, so you gotta give me a second. So this is a weight three. I want to say weight three is a DK weight and these other sugar wheel cottons are also weight three. I don't really know. The whole yarn weight thing, I understand it. It has to do with how thick it is, but sometimes I feel like they just kind of arbitrarily decide what weight the yarn's going to be. It's like women's clothing, right? Like, ah, oh, that's a size whatever, and that's a size whatever, and they'll be the same size and totally different. I feel like yarn's kind of the same way. Anyways, this is a 100% cotton yarn. I've got 235 yards in each of these, normally $4.99, but I got each for a buck 49. And what's neat about this yarn is it has this extra texture. I've never seen, well, I've, I have seen it, but I've never used cotton yarn that has a texture like this. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna make with this, but it feels really soft. The extra texture makes it extra plush and cushy and cozy. So I'm excited to come up with a project for this. This is definitely one I have no idea what I'm gonna make. If you have an idea of what I should make with any of this yarn, please let me know in the description because I need all the help I can get. This next yarn I'm really interested in trying. This is, it's all yarn because pretty much except for the Lion brand ice cream. Most of it is Yarn Bee, which is Hobby Lobby's brand. But anyways, this is called Stitch 101 50 50. I got it in the color Apricot. Full price is $5.99, but I got these for $1.49 each. And this is a 50% acetate, 50% modal, modal, modal. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think that modal, modal, whatever, however you say it, I believe it's a natural fiber that's in the rayon category. You know, let me let me double check this really quick before I tell y'all something completely wrong. Acetate is a semi-synthetic polymer known as cellulose acetate used to make textile fabric for clothing. Okay, so acetate is a type of rayon and rayon is generally speaking a broad category of fibers that are 
natural or semi-synthetic, part natural, that are made from plant fibers. So that's acetate yarn. Is it, Acetate is a type of rayon. Let me check out modal, modal. Okay, so modal yarn originates from sustainable beechwood tree farms. It is eco-friendly and the fibers are derived from the beechwood cellulose. Modal is the generic name for a semi-synthetic upgrade to viscose, which viscose is rayon yarn. Anyways, basically it's an attempt to be more sustainable yarn. These are both kind of in the rayon category. There is mixed debate about it because you do have to use a lot of chemicals to create rayon, but it's not straight up plastic. It is made from natural plant materials, but they do have to put it through chemicals. So there's a bit of debate on whether it's actually any better than acrylic yarn, which is straight up plastic, but I thought this would be cool to give it a try. I've never worked with anything made with acetate or modal. I got three skeins and I kind of now feel like this isn't enough to make much of anything. It has 180 yards in each of these three. Honestly, I'll probably make some kind of wearable out of this. These seem to lend themselves more to wearables, more likely to have better drape and more breathability because if you've ever worn a piece of acrylic crochet clothing, you know they can get a little sweaty sometimes. So that is this yarn. All right, on to the last bag. Okay, this next yarn I am so excited about. And I grabbed, I think, six skeins because I was really scared I wouldn't have enough for what I wanted to make. But it is Yarn Bee's Pima Suprema 100% cotton yarn. And basically what it is is cotton, but it's fancy cotton. So I, I don't know if it actually really is better or if the marketing just worked on me, but basically for years I've read about Supima cotton. You might have seen Supima cotton sheets or Supima cotton t-shirts. I finally got some Supima cotton shirts from Land's End. Y'all, I love them. They are the softest cotton ever. They drape and wash so nicely. So it's basically like extra soft, fancy cotton. And the, what makes it fancier or nicer is because it has longer fibers. So it doesn't tend to pill as much and it's just able to be spun better into the usable yarn or thread to make clothing or to make yarn. Now I get 180 yards in each of these skeins and the original price is $5.99, but I got these each for a buck 49. I'm really excited to try this because I've been wanting to get this for so long, but at $5.99 a piece, I was like, eh, I'm not quite ready to drop the money on that. Granted, I could have bought them when they were 30% off, but you know, even then it was still a little bit, but 75% off, no brainer for sure. I made sure to get some of these. Also, this is the color Merlot, and I don't know if these are all the same dye lot. I'm kind of hoping they are. Sweet, all the same dye lot. So that brings us to my last few things of yarn, and I don't quite remember what I ended up getting with these but they're the same kind of yarn, I think, in different packaging. So it is called 44th, blah, 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 44th Street. It is a 70% acrylic, 30% polyamide yarn. And I've never worked with a yarn like this. This is yarn that has, I've heard it called a halo. And as you see, it's like got this like nice little fuzz around it. So it's like a halo. But anyways, I haven't worked with yarn like this. I was kind of scared too, honestly, because I couldn't decide what to make. But these are normally $4.29. They were only a dollar and seven cents. So I said, you know what, for just over a dollar a piece, I'm gonna grab three of these blue ones. They're called Adriatic Sea is the color. And then I grabbed one in the color Ruby. It's in different packaging, but it's the same amount of yardage. But anyways, I honestly am happy. This is already in a cake because I don't have to wind it. This, I do not know what I'm going to make. You wonderful people, please give me ideas. I haven't worked with yarn that has a halo to it. It is so incredibly soft. I have makeup on so I don't wanna like smush my face against it, but it's like so nice and soft and fuzzy. Not necessarily pilling fuzzy, maybe this will pill, I don't know. But yeah, if you have ideas for what I should make with this, please let me know in the comments. So let's take a look. And I'm gonna count this up because I've always like, did they ring it up right? I mean, they probably did, but they have, they have not rung stuff up right before. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Yeah, so I have 32 skeins of yarn here. Like I said, this is the most amount of yarn I have ever bought in one trip. It's the most I've spent on yarn in one trip. I don't normally do this, but a big motive with getting so much was because I knew how much I had in gift cards. I was able to spend it all in gift cards. 
Um, otherwise, I would not have gotten all this yarn. So anyways, to kind of wrap up the video, a couple final thoughts or whatever. Um, the stuff that you see here that is discounted, that is clearance, most likely means they're rolling out this yarn. So sometimes that means they're getting rid of the entire line. I didn't see any where every coloration of an entire line was marked down. So for most of these, I believe they're just getting rid of certain colors. It could be they're getting rid of the color completely. It could be they're just cleaning out that batch of that yarn color. So for instance, the Pima Suprema yarn. Well, there were three of these colors that were discounted on clearance. The rest were not. So most likely they're rolling out these colors, possibly introducing new colors, maybe not. Same with the Sugar Wheel Cotton. They're not getting rid of Sugar Wheel Cotton. They're just rolling out probably these colors. Again, they might restock with them in the future. But anyways, rolling out old yarn means they're gonna get some new stuff in, which means I'll have to wait until next year until that stuff goes on clearance to try it out. But anyways, I'm really excited because I finally figured out the Hobby Lobby clearance yarn schedule, basically. It's that kind of first week or so in June. Now, I don't know what I'm posting this. Like I said, I don't know how long it's gonna take me till I get this all edited. So if you have a Hobby Lobby near you, I can't guarantee they'll still have clearance yarn, but hopefully they'll still have a little bit of clearance yarn or hopefully you were able to take advantage of the clearance sale as well. And if not this year, you now have a full year to start saving up to start preparing and then you can go crazy next year in the start of June when it's on clearance. So that is the yarn I bought. I'm super excited in case you can't tell. And I'm so glad I was able to share this with y'all and thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting and crocheting.